so we have about two minutes until we go officially live so I'm gonna go link this event to the two Facebook parties that are going on right now which is my virtual launch um, my virtual fall launch for the new products and then Tiffany's kickoff party as well so I'm gonna go link this so just hang on because I have to do this before I start so just hang on, join us. I'll give you guys a couple minutes to join in. So just hang in while I'm connecting everyone. Okay, so I'm sharing it in the live virtual fall launch. And now we're gonna share it in Tiffany's kickoff party as well. We got about one more minute. Okay, so the video has been shared. Yay, we have some people watching. So just make sure, I'm gonna give it like one more minute. Make sure you comment so I know that you're here and that I can see you. And um, so yeah, we'll give it one more minute until we get started. Yay, numbers going up. Hey everyone, welcome. So just make sure you guys comment and let me know that you can see me and everything's working because this is my first time testing it out being live in two parties at once. So um, work smarter, not harder, right? We say that. So I'll just keep checking here to make sure that everything's going good and we'll get started. Okay. So can you let me know that you're here? Okay, Tiffany, you're here. Carolyn's here. Okay, yay, awesome. Our numbers are going up. Um, awesome, so I'll just give you guys a quick rundown of how this works. If you're new, my name is Claudia Bazaar. Um, I'm an executive director with Pampered Chef. I have been with Pampered Chef for six years and um, wow, it's definitely changed my life. Hey everyone. So we'll go ahead and get started. So how this is going to work tonight is I'm going to show you all the new products that just did, that were just released by Pamper Chef as of September 1st. And if you're part of my virtual fall launch, then you can click on that link to shop. Um, and if you're part of Tiffany's kickoff party, that link is posted as well. And just interact, you know, comment, like, ask me any questions. I will. Um, probably answer most of the questions afterwards just to respect everyone's time and not go over or maybe at the end but just know that everyone that asks a question um, and comments and interacts I will put everyone in a raffle at the end of the night and before I you know before I go to bed later I'll do the raffle for you guys so um, we're here to show off all the new products and I'll just kind of go through one by one but what I want you to what I want to let you guys know is that this is the new way or another way I would say to now run your own pamper chef business so um, I will be doing these events every Monday night and so if you're interested in having your own virtual party you can have me in your kitchen right you can sit relax you don't even have to vacuum your house and your friends can join us live and we will be doing a live recipe demo so if you're looking for um, you know easy I think it just reconnected. Okay, so if you're looking for new dinner ideas, then we can definitely do that by sharing a live cooking demo with your friends, which is about 20, 30 minutes, and then your friends shop online and you get lots of free pamper shops. So yay, right? And if you think that this could be a fun way for you to even make some extra money without even having to leave your house, this is a new way 
of being a virtual Pain for Chef consultant. And we are always hiring, but we're especially hiring for the holiday season. So if you're looking to make some extra money and have a debt-free holidays holiday season, then definitely let us know and we would love to help you. All right, so let's see who's all on. Hey everyone, yay, awesome, love it. Um, Kristen wants to see new things, yeah, because all my fellow people that tell me they have everything, now you can see everything that's new, right? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started, um, and we are, yeah, it's three minutes after, so everyone should be on, and if you're joining us late, you have a live feedback that you can watch later on as well. So, lots of new goodies. So I think we'll start with the biggest selection, um, which is stoneware. So we have some new stoneware pieces. So let me know if you're a stoneware lover and maybe what pieces you have. Um, and I always like to see pictures of stones and because they all see them differently. So it's really fun to see them. So make sure you post your picture in the event later. So we have two new serving platters. They're beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, so this is the large one and then this is the small one or medium one, I guess. Um, but it's a little smaller. And basically, if you've had stoneware for a while, you know it's not dishwasher safe, right? But now, because the stone is completely glazed, it's dishwasher safe, okay? So your stonework can go in your oven, your stonework can go um, actually in the freezer or in the microwave, and now it's even dishwasher safe. Of course, this one's a little huge, so this won't fit in your microwave. Um, this one could though. But basically, what does that mean? That now you have these gorgeous entertaining platters you can make a meal in it, you can put some appetizers in here, you can pop them in the oven and then serve them right away, right? Also, you can freeze this, stoneware stays cold for a very long time, you can freeze them and just put your cheese or your um, deviled eggs or anything that needs to stay cold right on here and serve it, okay? So let me know what you would use this for. I know Kristen, my writing is backwards. I was really thinking if I could write it backwards for you guys to see it, but it just doesn't work like that. So it just says um, new glazed stoneware, it's dishwasher safe, oven safe, and microwave safe. Um, and these are actually our new blind markers that are coming out October 1st, but we'll do another video for that. So anyways, so large entertaining platter, medium entertaining platter. So you can entertain, you can serve your dinner, and the new hottest trends, if you've ever, if you're a Pinterest person, um, are sheet pan dinners, right? So everything on one sheet, dinner is done. Your protein, your veggies, your starch, everything on here looks gorgeous too. And then you just serve it and dinner is done. So large and medium. And it's if you, if you can't see the color, I'm not sure how my lighting is, it's like a gray. So gray is very, very trendy right now. Gray is really pretty, very neutral. Um, you can do anything with it really. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, I'm gonna see if I... Um, Kristen, you love it? Yay! So Paper Chef has definitely outdone themselves. Okay, so with those platters, uh, a lot of new stoneware got redesigned. So I'll show you some more glazed pieces that are actually stoneware. So these are our bowls, our small serving bowls. Um, I just used them for soup the other day. And they're very pretty, just like your regular bowls that you use for cereal or whatever you want to use them. But again, it's stoneware, so it can go in your oven. So if you're making a spinach artichoke dip um, or any cheesy dips like that that need to go in the oven all right you can put this in the oven make your dip serve it and it's done um, so you can even mix and match so these platters this whole gray collection really goes hand in hand so you could do your platter you could have your cheese dip right and then you can put your crackers around it or your bread so you can really they all go together so if you need some new holiday entertaining platters these are really good Right? Yay, Jerry, they're very nifty, right? They're super pretty, they're really gorgeous. All right, so I'll move those, and these come in a set of two, so you get two of this color, taupe color, or two of the gray color as well. And then we have a big one. So, this one's really big. So this is the large serving bowl. So if you're Italian like me, you know, big meals. And um, so you can bake in this. Again, you can bake and serve in this. Um, or you can freeze it for a cold salad, or if you wanted to make like a like a shrimp cocktail, right? You can freeze it, put ice on the bottom, and then the shrimp in here. So these all go hand in hand, right? Or if you wanted to make 
arrange them, and then your veggies around. Do you see how all, they, they all go beautiful together? It's really cool. So this is great for big pasta dishes, um, seven layer dips, anything like that. It's gorgeous. It's really, really pretty. A big, nice salad, so you can use it for lots of things. Um, so this one is just a taupe. This one does not come in gray. Maybe not yet, I don't know. But for now, um, it doesn't. So this is the color. But they all go well together. So yes, everyone loves the color. Yay, I'm excited, awesome. And then they finally brought it back because many of you wanted our pie dish back. So we now have our stoneware pie dish back and it's gray, so it matches everything else. And it's a very deep pie dish. Um, pie dish so well not very deep just deeper I think than the regular one um, I don't bake a pie but my husband baked a pie the other day and he loved it it came out gorgeous it was really really pretty so this is also this makes a great gift for those people that you don't know what to get them but you maybe know that they love to bake so this would be perfect for them but also you could do your chicken pot pie in it right so it doesn't just have to be pie it could be a pretty serving dish as well and if anyone has a good pie recipe send it to me because I'm not the best baker. <laughs> I'm just pampered, not perfect. All right, and then our two traditional pieces that we've had in our line before. Um, one of them got redesigned, which is our deep covered baker, or I call it my DCB, or AKA my magic pot, because if you have this one in red, I think we, uh, last one was in red, we had it in white, we had it in taupe um, years ago, so have this one let me know if you love it um, no Jen it's not gonna scratch um, the glaze you can cut in it and everything so it's not gonna scratch at all okay so this is deep cover baker this is a stoneware piece they redesigned the handles a little bit and the top handle but um, so you can do if you don't know anything about this magic pot you can do a whole chicken in the microwave in 30 minutes. You can do a couple of chicken breasts and barbecue sauce and have barbecue chicken sliders in like 12 minutes. Pork tenderloin in like 10 minutes. Um, bread, this is really good for making your own great baked bread. Um, cake, lava cakes in 10 minutes. So if you need quick, easy dinner solution, the DCB or the Rock Rock, which is new too, um, those are your go-to people. So this is that. So you can use it with or without lid, right? So you can use it as a casserole too. So, um, and then the, there's a baby version of it, which is a round covered baker. So it's a little, I think it's almost half the size of the deep covered baker. So you can use this for sides, for dips, um, or if you are a family of one to two, or you're just looking to feed two people, two chicken breasts, some veggies, lid on, microwave, seven minutes, dinner is done, right? Amazing, yay! So these are our new stoneware pieces. So let me know if you love the new colors. So gray is very, very trendy. All right, so how about, um, we'll talk a little bit about baking. So if you're a baker and you love cakes and decorating and all that stuff, this is for you. So we now have new cake pen sets. Um, so if you're looking to decorate your own cakes and making it look like they're from a fancy bakery, you need these. Um, we actually have some recipes on our website as well. And basically these come in a set of four, okay? And um, they have a fill line, so you know exactly how much batter to put it in. And then those are the cakes you layer and decorate really pretty. So if you need some fun ideas, I can definitely give you some. Um, but also I was thinking deep dish pizzas or cookies. Um, pizza, I don't know if you've heard of pizzukis, pizza cookies. So you take chocolate chip cookie dough and you just put it in here and you bake it and then you flip it out and you can top it with whipped cream or anything like that. And you have like your own giant cookie. So more than just cake pan, right? So they come in a set of four. And then with that, because we're now baking our own cake, we want to decorate it. So we have our um, new decorating bags and you get two of them. I love the fun colors too. And this goes good with the gray. So these are your two bags that you get with it, right? So you can easily fill them with frosting. 
and then you get your tools with it too. And I'm gonna tell you I'm not a baker, so I'm not the expert here. I'm just showing you what I got. Um, I know this one is to fill your donuts with jelly or whatever, or custard. Um, let me see. Yes, the fill lines, right? Pretty smart, because you're always like, I don't know how much to put in there. So, um, and then you got your regular typing tools. So I'll just show you a couple of them. This one is to write, you know, and there's some big ones in here too. Oops. Right, so you get all this with the bags. And you actually get two quick Twixit clips with it too to seal the bag, right? And then you can squirt things out. So these are a decorating bag set. Um, this is a fun little guy. It's actually, I think, right now I know number three that's been selling like hotcakes. This is a dress lab. So it's almost like a syringe. Well, it is kind of like a syringe. So you take it out and you can put melted chocolate in here and then you push it in and then you can write something and decorate it. But someone also just told me they put sour cream in it for the tacos. So Taco Tuesday, that'd be fun, right? So you don't get that big blob of sour cream on your taco or your burrito. You can just kind of, you know, shake it back and forth. So that's a good idea. Let me know if you think this is fun for sour cream. Melissa, you need that. Hey, Melissa, you need to have a virtual party. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> so this is the Drizzler, okay? So if you're looking for that, AKA Drizzler. Okay, so um, what else before I go into my really fun products that I'm loving? So this is new too. So this is our um, new pepper and salt grinder. So you can now fill it from the top. So if you had the old ones where you had the little ball, you don't have to do that anymore. Um, you just fill it right from the top. Super easy and very, I think very classy, right? Um, and just know guys that there's like a 30 to 60 second delay with Facebook Live. So if I'm not getting you right away or I'm replying too late, just know I'm not crazy. <laughs> so these are the new pepper and salt and pepper grinders set. Very pretty, very gorgeous. Yay, I like this. So you guys can see it live, right? Um, all right, so I'll tell you about two of my very favorite products. Um, and I'm not going to demo one of them because last time I did that, I almost choked on a popcorn. <laughs> so I'll just tell you about it. Okay. Um, and if you want a live demo, I'll do that, you know, later on. So this is our new popcorn maker. Again, this is a very cool Christmas present for those people that you don't know what to get. But let me know how often you eat popcorn. How often do you make your own popcorn? And I want to share something with you guys before I even tell you about this. Okay. So, um, this, these are regular popcorn kernels. I just put them in a Ziploc bag in case, you know, the bag bursts open. This is just regular bag from Walmart. And if you look at the ingredients for the popcorn, the only ingredients, I don't know if you can see this, but the only ingredients, ingredient is popcorn. Nothing else, just plain popcorn, right? So now, if you're the person that buys this, right, because maybe we're lazy or whatever, um, then I'll tell you what's in here. That's not just popcorn, go figure, right? Um, so I'll just show you, maybe you can see all the ingredients that are in here. It's probably gonna be backwards, right? Ah, oh, that's right, Kristen, it's backwards. Okay, well, it says popcorn. <laughs> Um, so this one, for example, says popping corn, palm oil, salt, natural and artificial flavor, color added, TBHQ, whatever that is, and citric acid. So you decide what you'd rather use. And this is so much cheaper and you get a lot out of it versus this. Okay. So just a little tip. Um, this is our microwave pop for make. It is $25, but definitely worth I think your investment, um, it takes about two minutes. It kind of depends on your microwave, two, three minutes, but you need to figure out what works in your microwave. And even if you experiment and you have to throw away two or three of these, not the whole bag, like a serving cup like this, and you perfect it, it was still a lot cheaper and you know what you put in your body. So how, the way it works is you take the lid and you take the top out. Oops. This is the little top and it's got holes on the bottom, okay? 
So what you then do is you take your popcorn, you scoop it out. This is how much it's going to be, right? You dump it in here, and then you put the lid on. Put the lid on. I'm going to do it down here because it's flimsy. It's silicon, right? Um, here we go. All right, so you put the lid on, okay? And then you put the cup back in. Now, if you wanted to add butter or oil, you would do that right now. So a little piece of butter or some oil, you would pour that in here. Um, I honestly don't use anything. And you just close it up, microwave it in the microwave, and put it on the outer side of your turntable. Um, that way it goes all the way around and then just, just doesn't spin in the middle. And then you microwave it um, two minutes. And then you can, what I do is, oh, let me grab it. I use my kitchen spritzer. And as soon as it comes out, I spritz it with some oil. I add a little bit of salt. And we do have two popcorn seasonings coming out October 1st, which is a ranch and a French toast. I just sprinkle that on there, you know, shake it up, and you got popcorn. So um, I don't even add any butter or oil, or, you know, lots of oil. I just spray it a little bit so the seasoning can stick. And it's the best popcorn ever. And it collapses, um, so it doesn't take up a lot of room. And I actually have two of these because I'm a sweet person, so I like the French toast seasoning, and then my husband likes the butter. So anyways, it collapses, and someone just said they made um, kettle corn, so they just used a little bit of sugar in it if you wanted to do that, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. Microwave popcorn maker, let me know if you... <laughs> Kristen's going to go grab her mirror, and that's a good idea. The, way it, the reason it's backwards, because this is in selfie mode, so I can't do it the other way, because then I don't know what you guys are saying, right? Diane, you want this? Yes, this is awesome, and I'm telling you, this is... This is the number one. So since we started September 1st, the number one newest selling product is the microwave popcorn maker. So I'm telling you, it's awesome. All right, and then the, num the other one um, is our microwave. This is, I think, number three of the hottest new selling products is the whipped cream maker. So if you are, if you maybe make your own whipped cream, even with an electric mixer, you know, it takes like three to four minutes. And by hand, let's not even talk about it because that's way too long. I don't have time for that. Um, and if you maybe never had real whipped cream and you're a cool whip person or ready whip, this is delicious. It is so good. I could literally just sit there with a spoon and eat it. So, um, but it's super easy, okay? So the way it works is you fill this up with heavy whipping cream, liquid heavy whipping cream. And there's like a little fill line, so you just fill it up. I normally do a little less than the fill line because then you add a little bit of powdered sugar, about a tablespoon, and a teaspoon of vanilla if you like. I've done it without the vanilla and it was still good. And then you just do that and then you put it in. And this is how it looks like. Kind of like a butter churner, right? You put that in and it doesn't like completely twist on, it just kind of hooks on, okay? So then this is your silicone base that also covers as a lid. So once you're done, you can store, you can take the top off and you can store your whipped cream so you can make it ahead of time. And then you literally, oops, all right. And then you literally just pump. Pump, 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 pump. 30 seconds, 45 seconds max. It's gonna get harder. You're gonna know when it's done because it's gonna go, right? And it's gonna feel um, harder. And then you just uh, open it up and whipped cream's done. Um, I was actually gonna demo the slide, but I realized I ran out of whipped cream because we've been eating it all the time. But if you want me to demo it live, um, I did a video with where my son did it. I can send you that or I can just come on another time and just do that tomorrow. Um, but it really works and um, you can use it to froth milk. So one of my consultants uses it to froth their milk for their cappuccino. And um, you can do, what else was it? Oh, scrambled eggs. So you can make really fluffy eggs. I did that the other day actually, it worked out great. And if you need ideas on flavors for your whipped cream, pumpkin spice is very hot. We've, we've experimented with that, that works great. Vanilla, chocolate, Baileys. So this is awesome. And again, this doesn't take up a lot of room and you can have whip, fresh whipped cream all the time for your pies this season, right? Or just like that, or just with strawberries or whatever. So let me know if you like that. Um, but yeah, so this is the new whipped cream maker. And then I'll tell you about the last two products. And let me see how we're doing with the time. Okay, so we're good. Um, we're still within 30 minutes. That's where I wanted to stay. So the last two products are designed for kids, 
Okay, so we now have a kid's pizza set and we now have a kid's baking set. And the way this came along is actually that um, 70 kids children were invited to home office in Chicago. Um, they were, you know, kids from people that worked there or grandparents, you know, whatever. So kids were brought into home office and they tested this and these were actually designed by kids. So they actually looked at, you know, um, the handle, what handle does a child prefer? Um, what colors does a child prefer? And things like that. And they actually voted and they tested and they tested and they came out with the kids baking set and the pizza set. So we'll start with the kids baking set. So this all comes in the kids baking set. And it comes in a really cute box that you can just wrap up and it's a Christmas present. It's got little smiley faces on it, so it's awesome. And let me just tell you that these are not toys. So these are not toys as in they're gonna break tomorrow. This is high quality Pamper Chef like you're used to, but now for kids, okay? And I actually, I like this bowl, it's really fun. So I use it all the time. Uh, all right, so here is what comes in it, okay? Um, you get this cute little spatula, yay! And if you know something about a spatula, you know that you can actually cook with them, so they're heat resistant. You get this spatula, you get the mini serving spatula that you know has been around for a while. It's very popular and just a fun kids color. Then you get some recipes, some cookie recipes, yay! And then you get the emoji cookie cutters. So these are really really fun, guys. Um, you can buy these separate for $10 and Pamper Chef actually donates $1 to Feeding America, America for every cookie cutter set sold. So this is our um, Feeding America product for this fall. Um, and just know a little trick that you need to have a good sugar cookie recipe. If you need one, let me, let me know. I'll just throw them on the floor. And then what you want to do is just have a bowl of like flour next to you and just kind of dip them in before you dip it in the cookie, that way it doesn't stick. So these come in the bowl or you can buy them separate for 10 bucks. And then, um, you know, we wanna teach children at a very young age, oops, what am I doing? Right. We wanna teach children at a very young age um, the difference between measuring liquid and solids, right? So um, these snap on, there you go. So you snap on, so you have your regular measuring cups on the bottom and the liquid measuring cup on top for kids again with a great easy handle and um, they have really big font for children to read and they all come together really fun colors right and they snip so they snip right here okay so that's that and then of course with the bowl so everything comes with the bowl do you guys still hear <laughs> Either my phone froze or I'm just going to keep talking. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what I did. Yay, hope you're still here. So anyway, so this comes all together. The bowl, the two measuring cups. Okay, Melissa, you're still here. I thought I like froze. And um, the recipe cards, the two spatulas. And these are great for little hands. I mean, my daughter's four and she loved it. So they can totally grow up with the set. You can have this for years to come. All right. So this is the baking set, and then I'll show you the last one, which is the kids' pizza set, which is super, super cute. And um, let's start with the mat it comes with. Again, this comes in a really cute rectangular box. It's, you know, decorated with some smiley faces, so it's ready to be wrapped up for the holidays. So it comes with this um, mat, and if you notice, it has a size of how big they got to roll out their pizza in. And this is a five-minute dough recipe that you can find on our website as well, but it's actually a five minute dough recipe made with Greek yogurt. So um, it's really good and really easy. It doesn't have to rise or nothing. It's the easiest dough recipe I've ever seen. So this is great. I mean, even for your, for your own pizza, pizza, not just for kids, but this comes with the kids pizza baking set. Then they get their own cute little cutter for kids hands. And then you get this cute little roller designed for kids' hands, and then they get the first stone. So kids are getting the first stone, which is the personal round stone. And if you look at the mat, oops, right? They're rolling out to, the pizza to fit in here. So all this, 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 let me see if I can hold everything, and these two come in the kids' pizza set. Super cute, super fun. Um, I had to do two because 
my kids fight. So now I have two of these. But that's fine. That's awesome. And um, actually, I, me and my husband have our own personal stone as well. So we don't have to fight over our ingredients. So these were all the new products, I think, unless I missed something. Diane, you want the kit for you? Sure, whatever. <laughs> you can have it for you too. Um, I. Oh, Kristen, yeah, you were a consultant before. That's right. Hey, Salami. Um, so anyways, here is the catalog. I posted a virtual link. So if you actually prefer flipping through a catalog, you can do that on the link as well. Um, the party, when the party closes, you know it's in the Facebook event. So make sure you get your shopping on. But if you just saw a lot of these products and you want all of them and you don't want to pay full price, let's test out this new way of Facebook Live. And we'll cook a quick recipe um, and your friends can shop and do that. And you know what? If you're really loving the products, if you look um, on my website and you click join or be a consultant or whatever it says, um, we now have three new fabulous kits. So I always say, just give this business a try because it might not be for everyone. Maybe this is not for you, but why not just try it? So you can try it for the holiday season, make some extra income. The kits are amazing. The biggest kit is 249. They just redesigned it and it's a thousand dollars worth of product, right? So if it doesn't work out, what's the worst that can happen? You have all these goodies you wanted in the first place. So it's not like you have 10 pizza stones that you now have to sell. These are things that I use in my kitchen every day. And um, I bring my stones to my parties and they might be black, but people love seeing that, that they, you know, that these products last. So if you want to talk about that or ask any questions, ask away and I'll answer them later on. Um, but I think we made a good time. I wanted to stay in within 30 minutes and I'll go back and close this out. I hope you guys had fun. Give me some feedback on if you're liking this or if there's anything else um, I could change up to make this a better experience for you guys because I want to make sure you guys, you know, have fun, get some knowledge, get some recipes and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to close this out. I'm going to put everyone that commented and asked question in a bowl and I'll draw the winner and I'll post that here in the next 10, 15 minutes. And yeah, everyone have a good night and keep me posted if there's anything I can do for you. All right. Make it a great night.